My name is Dr. Stan. And my name is Sarah, and our story goes like this. Sarah and I have been working on our research project for about a year now. Really? An entire year? She came to me after she realized her treatment plan was missing a few things. Ah, oh, right. I came here after attempting to compare and choose treatment options on my own. Which became even more mystifying after she forgot to tell her first doctor everything he needed to know. I told him everything. All right, I told him the important things. Right. Okay, identifying problems with my treatment plan and attempting to find a better treatment was a little harder than I thought. Of course. Of course. To make matters worse, she didn't want to go back into her doctor's office. I didn't want to go into any office. I live in a rural area where it's hard to travel into town. I'm active with my care, but it's easier to find answers on Google. She tried to do it on her own. Hey, I did okay. She did. I read medical journals relating to my condition, but found no relevant answer. Her ideas led me to develop a scientific study. Don't let him fool you. I thought it would be a worthy topic. We're partners. It all started when I was looking for answers in every web page I could find. That's a good place to start. And there were so many options. Thousands of people asking about the side effects, safety, and alternatives for medications. On top of that, I found more treatment options for people with a condition like mine. But what I discovered was there's just too much stuff scattered on the internet to compare. I had more questions at the end of my search than I did at the beginning. She needed help. Eventually, I found something. It's true, she did. After what felt like weeks of searching, researching, comparing, and feeling unheard, I was exhausted. I had found so many answers, but none of them really answered my questions. I had had enough. Finally. Just when I was about to throw in the towel, I discovered Actinect. A web page dedicated to patient-centered outcome research. I started by typing my diagnosis in the search bar. And there it was. A web page that I could go to and compare many different options with other patients' opinions. The best part? I could see current research studies. And because still none of them answered my question, I could advocate for future research. It was that easy. While searching Actinect, not only did I find what other people with my illness were searching for, their treatment plans and how that treatment worked for them, but I also found the tools to understand the science behind why the treatments were successful. But, most importantly, Actinect was able to follow my searches. So when I was finished, I was able to create my own personalized Actinection. A tailored map that shows people searching what they looked for and how many others are talking about the same topic. After Sarah created her act in action, she had two options, publish her findings to the website or stay anonymous. I chose to share my ideas. It was easy. By publishing her act in action, Sarah was matched with other patients, caregivers, researchers, and doctors who shared an interest in her condition. That many people? Because act in act helps give patients an understanding of health conditions, they feel more involved in research studies and projects. I did feel empowered. With many different professionals looking to help patients with their conditions, the web page allows for experts to coordinate care by connecting with each other through LinkedIn or MedHelp. And finally, my voice had been heard as I was matched with Dr. Stan. What I didn't know was that researchers like Dr. Stan also use Actinect. Quite frequently, actually. By searching Act Connections created by patients, caregivers, or stakeholders, researchers like me are able to see what kind of concerns patients have and what kind of questions they're asking. This information allows senior researchers to build on the data infrastructure for a study and at the same time gives new researchers a training tool. This can improve analytic methods and allows us to connect with other researchers interested in the same type of project. I was able to view research materials and appreciate all that goes into research. It was one year ago that I connected with Dr. Stan. And she still comes in to help formulate questions, develop protocol, and announce research findings. Throughout his career, Dr. Stan has brought awareness to the different aspects of disease prevention and treatment. And he recognized me when publishing his research. Now I'm able to advocate for other patients who suffer from the same disease. And now thanks to ActNEC, Sarah not only understands her own healthcare plan and research, but she understands the healthcare system better overall. I'm able to search ActNEC for prevention methods, and I have a newfound sense of ownership for research and health. I can proudly announce that I embrace the problems that I face because I no longer feel unheard.